Alright, working on this Audi A6, uh, there's a DBF issue apparently. Um, and as you can see, engine light is flashing. Um, there is a particular filter issue. Just go and do a diagnostics on it and see what we found. So we we'll go to engine electronics. Okay, this port cord, particulate filter, uh, suit accumulation, which is a particulate filter is filling up let's just see if we can do some live data so we're going to select some of uh, the ash volumes and stuff like that we selected them already they just really right at the bottom of it uh, where are they yeah there you go so i've selected a particular suit measure then also the ash volume and this is what is showing now at the moment it's showing 64.5 zinc, so that's way above the limit. I think the limit is around uh, 48 or 38 something gram. Uh, so there's a solution for it, which I'm going to be doing shortly. Uh, and this is only for a DPF that's not really, really fully blocked. Hopefully it helps you guys. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so here, I've got the, the DPF uh, own car cleaner. I don't know if you can see it. Swings. It's quite good. I use it quite a lot, and mostly it works. All right, back to it. Just open the reductant uh, injection in the injector, and this is what I found. To be honest, uh, this is where I'm going to be spraying the spray through. Um, as you can see, it's just full of uh, full of AdBlue solutions in there. <laughs> oh my God, that's that's bad. That's a problem. Okay, so there you go. I uh, managed to make a tiny hole through it. So we are going to be injecting the, the fluid downwards, and then hopefully it walks through there. But this is this is quite bad. There you go, that's hooked up in there. Uh, it's gone all the way down. And I'm just gonna spray the can. Okay, I will now leave it for probably about um, half an hour, let it soak in and then we will start running for 5 minutes 
and accelerate it for another five minutes and yeah 10-15 minutes running and then accelerate for five minutes all right and we reset the value and job done so now uh, all the fluid is in there it's waiting for about about 30 minutes I'm gonna start it up uh, take it outside leave it for a few minutes running around 10 minutes apparently uh, so yeah we do all of it outside it has been running for five minutes uh, we're now gonna accelerate it for five minutes about two and a half rpm and you will see that it's gonna be a lot of smoke coming out of the back all right I'm gonna show you the last result and that is the solution smoking out Alright, I'm gonna go on the test right now. Alright, I'm driving the car at a high speed and there is sort of smoke from the back, obviously from the solution. I don't know if you can see it. regeneration while driving basically it has passed for DPF regeneration there you go that's the result of uh, the accumulation of the DPF regeneration and value reset uh, it has gone down to 17.67 goes up and down depending on the acceleration but it is it is very good keeps dropping um, there you go keeps on dropping so yeah no more lights no more DPF issue and it seems to be sorted keeps dropping 16 that's it's basically doing a DPF regeneration at the moment at that believe yeah so this is what it looks like. Oh, good. 